okay sujata so now uh, we are going to conduct a technical snap for drdo and you of material science correct yes sir yes sir okay so now first of all you just tell me what is material science how to define uh, sir material science uh, uh, it is a uh, science or subject i would say in which we study about the um, different properties of the material depending upon the microstructure of that particular material okay and what is material engineering sir so material engineering in that uh i can say that um, we are uh, by using for example heat treatment processes or something we are changing the properties of the material and if we club both the terms material science and engineering then how you define sir uh, we can define it like uh, the the materials which we are using for the engineering application the study of that particular uh, thing okay okay now tell me what is kiss phase rolls and where it is used sir gives phase rule is given as um, p plus f is equal to c plus uh, 1 in case of uh, uh, for example if you are having binary phase diagram in that particular case uh, for mm -hmm. example p uh, in gibbs phase rule p is the number of phases f is the degree of freedom and c is the number of components why you consider one why not two uh, sir in uh, in this case uh, we are drawing the diagram by considering pressure as constant that's why in uh, general case this uh, if it is p plus f is equal to c plus 2 then it is uh, that 2 is temperature and pressure but in this case we are considering it under constant pressure that's why we are considering it as only plus 1 okay okay so can you draw a binary phase diagram for lead and tin lead and tin system pbsn system yes sir it represents all the necessary curves and also represent temperature and composition yes sir Sir, I'm not sure about the temperatures, but this is the uh, diagram. Uh, this is completely wrong. Okay. And what about Copernical system? Pardon, sir. Copernical system. You draw binary phase diagram for Copernical system. Okay, copper and nickel. Yes. I think this one is for the copper and nickel and the lead and tin, that one is different. So, are you remember? Are you trying to draw again? Uh, yes, I remember. I am trying to. So I'm not able to recollect it, but it is something, uh, something of this type. The second one. 
one line is i think missing okay no no problem leave it okay so can you know the iron carbon diagram this is very basic and if you are preparing for material science then you must know uh, yes sir i know about iron carbon diagram in that we are uh, drawing the temperature uh, we are uh, drawing the uh, okay just write then we will discuss about that diagram correct okay. So I'm not able to draw it correctly, but I've tried to recall. Okay. In this diagram, can you represent eutectic point? Yes, I like sir. Eutectic point. Uh, yes, sir. Eutectic point is a point in which uh, one solid uh, gets con uh, one so at zero point eight percentage of carbon and about seven twenty three degrees Celsius. One solid get converted into uh, two solids. That is One the point. One solid is converted into two solids. Yes. Sure. I am asking you tactic point. You tactic in that case, sir. One liquid gets converted into two solids. That is to the ledurite phase. That is austenite plus uh, cementite. Can you show in your iron carbon diagram? Yes, sir. This is the eutectic point in which this liquid one uh, liquid gets converted into um, gamma like austenite plus Fe3C. How you know here we here you can get gamma and Fe3C? Yes, sir. So because in the iron carbide diagram, like on the left side we are having austenite and at six point six seven percentage. It will be complete uh, cementite. That's why. Cementite. Why six point six seven? Why not more than it? Sir, so that is the maximum number of um, that is the uh, maximum percentage of carbon that we can add into the iron so that we will get the cementite. Why? Why not more than six point six seven? Sir, because if we add more than more than that, then um, it will be like. It will not. It will be on the so. It will be there on the surface of that particular Fe3C, and it will not get that much dissolved. That's why. Is there any technical proof? Um, no. How this number comes? Why six point six seven? Why not six point six two, or six point six, or six point nine? Why yes, exactly it comes six point? Yes, uh, that we calculate according to the uh, percentage of carbon. It is uh, 12 upon, um, means percentage of carbon divided by uh, the. Okay, write down and show me. Fe3C, Fe. Sir, I'm not able to write it, but it is 12 upon the percentage of F Fe uh, three times the percentage of Fe plus carbon. 
Sure. Why three times? Why not four times? I'm not able to recollect, but there is some calculation that is what I can recollect at this moment. Okay. Okay, Sujata, you need more preparation, correct? Okay, sir. You know each and every binary phase diagrams, how to draw and what are the critical points, correct? Okay, sir. And especially iron carbon diagram, you know each and everything, correct? You don't know, uh, I'm not sure, this is not correct. Yes, sir. Because this is material science. Correct? Means you know it very well. Correct? So now tell me, do you have any question? No, sir. I think I need to practice. Means I have I have seen the diagrams and I have read the theory, but I need to practice how to draw it and then to explain. You you go and watch more lectures already recorded in the your PDA channel. Yes. Correct. And follow. And read carefully, correct? Yes, sir. And then we'll meet in the next time. Okay, sir. And definitely you prepare for next time, correct? You yes. make, make sure you know each and everything. Yes. Sir. Correct? Yes. Sir. So thank you. Now you can leave it. Thank you, sir.